Hi guys and welcome once again to Mike's PC Gaming and welcome to another edition of Station Ears. So right, as you can see, I've put some lights around the place, so very nice. We've also put some more lockers in. We've got more lockers now. Very nice. Okay guys, this is going to be the last episode of Station Ears for a while until a new update drops probably. Um, basically because I'm running out of stuff to do. I'm running out of stuff to do. Sure, we could automate all of the storage and we could automate the, uh, the furnaces so that they smelt on their own and stuff like that. But I can't see the point in doing it because we've already built everything. We've already built everything. Uh, there is a rocket ship that we can build, but that's very, very in depth and it takes quite a long time to build. And then we could leave the planet and go to a different planet uh, but I'm not really interested in that guys to be honest if I want to start on a new planet I'll just start a new game and we could just do it like that and save us all the work of, of building the rocket ship and um, As far as yeah, there's no point in automating all of the rest of it because there's nothing really left to build There's nothing really left to build. So all I want to do today is um, Go through some uh, recipes we're just going to do some we're, we're just going to test it out basically um i have been growing in between episodes as you can see we've got seven to we've got 27 tomatoes we've got 37 wheat we've got 43 rice i haven't really found a recipe for rice that we can use the rice with i haven't found anything to do with that whatsoever uh, we've done some pumpkins some potatoes i've also made some food over here as you can see we've got plenty of food now to keep us going on absolutely loads of it um the hydroponics bay has worked absolutely flawlessly the whole time in between episodes it's been working like an absolute dream uh, but for now for some reason now that we're in game and i'm recording for youtube it's not working it, it it's working but as you can see the temperature is at 16 degrees the um the heater should be on if it's at 16 degrees because the temperature has to stay between 20 and 30 that's how we got it set up but the temperatures just do not work in in this game in this particular game i'm playing in all the other games i've played it's been all right but in this game they just don't work according to wikipedia uh 273 degrees kelvin is zero degrees um centigrade so say we wanted to set the room to 20 degrees we'd have 273 plus the 20 which would give us 293 degrees for 20 degrees c if we look up here the minimum minimum settings so that should be 20 degrees we've got it on 298 and on this one the maximum temperature should be 30 degrees it's set to 32 degrees something like that and it's not even right it's still not even right uh, on here the the heaters will actually come on at around 23 degrees 24 degrees and the coolers will go on at i think 27 28 degrees with these settings so it's all buggered up it doesn't work it absolutely does not work for some reason i don't know why i don't know why there's, there's bugs like this in the game the game has been out for four years i think it's it's it, it's been out for quite a while I mean, stuff like that should have been out, ironed out a long time ago. But it is, there you go, there you, there you go. And um, the reason why we've got low temperatures in there, if I enter the room, if I actually go into the room, let's just cancel that out. And I don't think it's got anything to do with cancelling this because I've been looking at other people's videos and they do that all the time without any ill effects whatsoever. Uh, now we've got the normal temperatures. That's the temperatures, that's the way they should be. But it's only like that when I enter this room. And now the heaters will work. As soon as that drops down to below a certain temperature, the heaters will come on and everything will work again. So I don't know what's going on. It only seems to work while I'm stood in here. If I'm not in here, then uh, it doesn't work properly. It's a pain in the ass. And I've spent literally days on sorting that circuit out there for pressure and for temperature. And it still doesn't work. So I'm, I'm a bit sick of it now. I'm a bit really fed up with it. So I'm not going to do anything else with this room. We are going to grab some. Uh, we're going to grab some ingredients. In fact, it's is it going to go? I think it's getting night time. If it gets to be night time, where's the sun? Where's the sun? Oh, it's just sunrise. Um, I wanted I wanted to get some mushrooms in there. Mushrooms only grow in the dark, and we haven't got many. We've only got eight of them. So I think when night time comes, we might 
throw some mushrooms in there. We've got four corn. Let's just do some corn. We'll put some corn in. We'll grow some corn. Here we go. Right, we'll just turn the lights. How many have we got? We've got four. So that's only one bay. So we'll just put, we'll just fill this up with corn. And we'll get some corn made very nice it's growing very nice yeah like i said we're growing growing works fantastic in this thing it's absolutely brilliant it, no problems whatsoever and the stuff grows really quick as well so we'll just wait for that to be finished and we'll go over here and we'll make some so it is quite easy to use the microwave to be honest um as far as the cereal buyer is concerned 50 grams of corn of no, i'll tell you what we'll do some we'll do some uh we can't do some hey i've lost some wheat that's another thing about the game stuff is going missing i've been suspect i've been thinking about this for quite a while stuff is going missing but i wasn't quite sure in between episodes i was making a load of grain we had over 70 grain uh wheat and now we've got 37 so I'm, I'm definitely this game is just not working this this particular game that we're playing now is not working properly for some reason it's just it's got a mind of its own it really has uh all right so we'll take some tomatoes then we'll take tomatoes and we'll make some tomato soup so if we have a look at the recipes we've got here we've got tomato soup down here and uh, the information that they give you here as well is a load of rubbish really they could give you more information better information than what i mean why do we need to know that and why do we need to know that i mean why i just don't understand it so for this to make the tomato soup we need a can which is the one steel um i think i've actually made cans somewhere we'll have a look in a second and we need 10 tomatoes so 10 tomatoes in one can there's our empty can so we'll just take that and all we do is we put the can into the microwave. We only need one of them. So let me just separate some of them out. Let me just separate them out. We'll just grab one can. I'll oh, come here, you. Get in there. So we'll put one can in there. And we'll split our tomatoes in half. And we've got 10 of them. So we'll put, uh, we'll put 10 of them in there. All 10. There we go. And we turn this sucker on. Let's just close the lid. Turn this sucker on, dun dun dun, and we're gonna get a can of beautiful tomato soup. Oh, there we go. A can of tomato soup, absolutely bloody brilliant. Right, let's just put the tomatoes back in there. And we'll put our can of soup over here. Oh, it's full. So we've got all the finished stuff in this container. Uh, this, is all, this is all of the stuff that we've got left in the game. Uh, we've got plenty of water. We've got plenty of food now. This is um, in between production stuff like ingredients to make other stuff. Uh, but I'm going to have to put my soup in here now because it's that one's full. That one's full. Yeah, so that works pretty good. The whole system works great. We've also uh, added this um, powered bench as well. And on here we've got the paint mixer where we can mix our own paints. And we've got the chemistry station where we can make medical stuff and things like that let me just drop that over there as well all right very nice so how's the plants doing the plants are doing just fine the plants are doing just fine where's the sun yeah we're gonna have to wait a while till night time yeah so i'm really stuck now for things to do to be honest i'm really stuck uh I don't know what to do this is probably going to be a short episode guys like i say it's going to be the last episode today um, I'll be looking on Steam and uh, it looks like they've been doing updates once a month for this game. And apparently it's as popular now as it ever been. They've got the highest um, figures for this game as what they've ever had on Steam. So um, it's, it's quite a popular game. It's growing again in popularity. Uh, so I'm sure that the devs are going to be working pretty hard to, 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 to get as many updates out as uh, possible. Um, I'm thinking in the next couple of days there's going to be an update drop for the game because it seems to be around this time of the month that they do it. Around about the middle of the month they've been, they seem to have been dropping the updates. So you never know. We might get some more updates. But um, I'm going to leave this game for a while and we'll get on with something else. I've got no idea what the next episode's going to be. 
what game it's going to be it's going to be a much a surprise for you as it is for me because i just haven't got a clue we'll think of, i'll think of something we'll get something up and running so how is that doing the stuff grows pretty quickly i think it takes about six minutes to grow the crops in these uh hydroponic stations they're pretty good they are really pretty good yeah so we just got to wait for that basically all right let's go check out our corn see how well it's doing see one, when we enter the room now oh we, we had plus temperatures again see it's gone from minus to plus it sorted itself out again we'll see if it sorted itself out again when we get back out we might drop down to minus again so how are we doing? So it's not quite ready. Uh, it will actually say, if you point at it, it'll say we'll create three corn or two corn or whatever it is that you're making. So until that is showing, we don't want to uh, harvest these yet. It's too early, it's too early. But the temperature and the pressure is pretty spot on. If we have a look at what we've got in here now, at the moment, we've got 16% O2, 80% CO2, 3% N2, and 1% X. So the 1% X, I'm not really happy with. Uh, the 16% O2 is okay if we're going to be growing the mushrooms, because the mushrooms will actually need the O2 to grow. Uh, for the plants, it, it's all right as well. 80% CO2 is more than enough for the plants to thrive in here. Uh, but what we'd have to do over the next couple of days I think is flush this room out completely and get new gas in here because uh, the, the O2 levels are getting a little bit high for the normal plants I want to have it as rich a uh, uh, CO2 atmosphere in here as as possible and we don't really need the X at all so uh, yeah we have, we'll probably have to get rid of that let's just go and have a look what we've got actually in our canister uh, this canister is just atmosphere as you can see down here I've just pumped this full of atmosphere from Mars, which is perfectly adequate for uh, growing crops. And oh, that's also got 1% X in it as well. Well, we could filter it out. We could definitely filter that out. We could put a filter station on here and just get it to filter out the X and uh, let the rest of the gases go in there. That would work perfectly. That would, that's no hassle at all to do that. That would work perfectly fine. Right, the corn should be done by now. All right, let's have a look. All right, there you go, two corn. So we can harvest these now. Let's just grab these out of here. Very nice. So we've got our corn. We can turn these off now. Go back out. Eight corn, very nice. Um, where's our, Have we got any more? No, that's it. We've only got eight corn. That is the whole lot. What do I need to make? Corn soup. Let's just have a quick look. Corn soup will take five corn and one. Right, we've got that. So let's just take. Let's just take five corn then. We'll, uh, we'll just split that. One, two, three, four, five. Put that back in there. We'll grab our can. We've got one can left over. And we'll make some quick corn soup. We've got two cans there. I only need one can. Come on, man. One can. God damn it. One can. Where did it go? One can. Right, we'll stick one in there. And we'll stick the five corn in there as well. Close the lid. Turn it on. And we'll be making us some corn soup. Mmm, delicious. Ta-da. Right, open that up. Grab that thing out. And we can put that in our container as well. Excellent. So now we really have got loads and loads of food. Tons of it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be a short episode today because, like I say, I haven't got a clue what else we can do. Um... We're just going to have to see. I'll try and get another video up today, later on. And, um... Like I say, I don't know what I'm going to be playing. I've got a few. I've got plenty of games. It's just deciding which one's going to be suitable for YouTube uh, because we need to get views. The views on this game haven't really been great. I would normally have stopped uh, playing this a, a while ago, but I was having so much fun playing this game. It's really a good game. 
it will definitely having you it will have you pulling your hair out i'm telling you it, it's it's one of those games you'll get a problem that it just not you're not solving it and um it just takes a lot of time to get stuff done in the game with certain things not with everything but with certain things uh, very interesting game i'm really looking forward to see um how they develop it how they how they change the game what new stuff they bring into game it's going to be really interesting this is a very very good game uh, but like I say, it will get you pulling your hair out. It's probably not for everyone. There's a lot of detail in the game, but um, I absolutely loved it. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for your support and for watching my videos. Uh, if you like this video, please show your support and hit the thumbs up for me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I would absolutely love to have you along. And uh, until next time, take care, guys. Bye now.